welcome to this session we will see the elastic case uh, lab in this session and how to configure elastic case so what kind of parameter we need to take care of or configure elastic case so there are two types of casing system engine that's one is mem case in uh, radis so this is the flat screen for uh, elastic case and you can create your casing database here so this is example is this a launch cluster connect and manage you can see and you can find also find the document here okay so let's get start here you can click here also okay so here there are two things will give you in your option so one is the radish and the mem case so here i'm just selecting the default one so i'm giving the name of my cluster case cluster so my case cluster you can give your description here so this is the description field uh, engine you can select uh, different available for redis and i'm just selecting the default one okay so this is a default port for your redis config uh, engine parameter group here the two options so you can select this uh, default one and based on your requirement uh, no type uh, that's uh, you can choose based on requirement so we are selecting the t2 macro so in this session okay and uh, in how many replica you want to create that is based on your configuration requirement wow. so here i am selecting the two for my configuration applications okay and uh, in advanced settings you can see the multi obligatory zone for auto failure if you you can enable here and uh, subnet group you have to select subnet group and we can create new also so here i'm just giving the name for new subnet group so my subnet group so basically this will creating the subnet group from your vpc so here i'm giving the two subnet for deploying my two replicas i can choose my vpc for different available of vpc so i'm here only one vpc i we created and it will select here uh there's a preference for availability zone so you can made your preference with specific availability zone uh, so this is a one replica and rest replica two will be created here so i'm just not giving any preference security group will be choose from default and you can create also security group so as of now there is only default here so i am going with the default i uh, can go, uh, give the encryption for your case so enabling this uh, particular field encryption at rest and encryption in transits so basically store encryption and uh, data transfer encryption also you can give uh, you can give the, your rdb file locations s3 locations so if you want to import data from the uh, source to this particular specific uh, case cluster so we are not giving here and uh, just moving and these are the backup and maintenance configuration so here we are not configuring backup and maintenance so we have configured all the fields for redis and uh, let's create this redis okay so here the uh, this our cluster is creating and you can see the configuration here so the status is creating and uh, this is the different configuration parameter for your redis case so you can see here the status creating engine redis node type parameter group security group and number of nodes so here it will be give the uh, endpoint and once it will be created here so we need to wait for some times as this will take some time to create 